Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Kaisha here. Today I'm coming to you with a little bit different of a video. I'm not sure if I've done a video like this on my YouTube channel just yet. However, today's video is a book review and it's all about the book that I most recently read, Atomic Habits by James Clear. I thought that this was a fantastic book, so I'm going to share a little bit with you about the book. So, I mean, I guess, spoiler alert, because I'm going to talk about some of the things in the book, but I highly recommend that you read it. So if you prefer to read it and then come back and watch this video, like, by all means do so. But I'm not going to spoil anything, I guess, too dramatic. It's not like it's a novel and at the end someone dies and I tell you he dies, so you should be fine. But anyway, I'm just going to talk about the book, you know. Yeah. So the name of the book is Atomic Habits, An Easy and Proven Way to Build Good Habits and break bad ones. And so at the very beginning of, of the book, they define what atomic means and what habit means. And so atomic is an extremely small amount of a thing, the single irreducible unit of a larger system, the source of immense energy or power. And then habit is a routine or practice performed regularly, an automatic response to a specific situation. And so from, from the very beginning, they're letting you know what an atomic habit is. So they talk about how to build better habits in four simple steps. And those four simple steps are make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. And they argue that if you're able to do this and to change your habits up, that it helps you from going being merely good to being great. There are so many quotes that I could quote from this book, but I'm not going to spend this video quoting the book. What I'm going to spend this video doing is telling you how I have implemented things from this book. Make it easy. I think that's one of the largest things for me. If I can make the habit easy, then I'm more likely to stick with it. So for example, I think I've shared in a couple of videos with you guys that I really want to work on my flexibility so that I can eventually get to my splits, right? So one of the things that I've made really easy for me recently is that I just have to commit to stretching five minutes a day. So easy. It's almost disrespectful to skip a five minute stretching session. Before when I was pursuing this goal, I was totally like, oh, I need to start stretch for 30 minutes at the, in the morning and at night. And yes, that probably would help me get to my goal faster. But realistically, I would quit before I would even really get started because it was an overwhelming practice to do that every day. It's like, oh, I got to stretch. I didn't look forward to it. And so stretching for five minutes, I usually look forward to it because I'm like, oh, it's just five minutes. And that's not to say eventually that it won't increase over time, but in order to build the consistency of sticking with that practice, got to start really easy and then add on as I go along. So one of the things that I've done to help me stick with some habits that I want to implement and continue to do in my life is using the Done app. The Done app allows you to basically create all of these different habits that you want to build a break and then you track it every day based on what habits you do and which ones you don't complete. So if you don't complete them, obviously you don't check them off. However, if you do, of course you click them and check them off. And it's just really satisfying for me to be able to look back and say, wow, I went to the gym every day this week or I stretched every day this week or I didn't do so well with tracking my macros. Maybe I should step my game up in the next week. It helps me to look at my habits that way. So I highly suggest if you don't have the done app to definitely get it because I think it's a really useful tool in helping you track your habits. So whether you write your habits down in the done app or if you write them down in the notebook, I think it's really important to identify what your habits are so that if you want to build new ones, you can look at your habit list and say, okay, cool. This is how this fits in or I need to take this out. And basically you can make edits. So I had a little session with myself where I just sat down with myself and I looked at my habits and I said, okay, Kaisha, what are, what are the things that you are doing and what things could you be doing better? And I realized that some of my habits were actually not good ones and they were actually hurting some of my other goals. So I made some and I said, okay, cool. After this time, I'm not going to be eating dessert or I'm not going to have dessert Monday through Friday and I'll have it just on the weekends. Like I started looking at things a bit more clearly. If you guys don't know this by now, I'm super into personal growth and development. I love talking about morning routines and habits and all of these wonderful things that can help us be better people because I think that that is really the foundation of becoming great in whatever industry that you're in. I think self-help, this whole topic is something that I really enjoy talking about. So I can talk about habits and things like that all day. So all in all, if you have not read this book, I think this is a phenomenal book for anyone to read. And I love that he writes it from the perspective of various people from various disciplines. It's not just, you know, one kind of person. I think that anyone could find themselves somewhere in this book. So I highly recommend that you give it a try. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye.